Blood, murder, mystery, vampires, all that runs rampant in the new Radio Silence horror movie, Abigail, currently in theaters with a kick-ass cast, including Melissa Barra, Catherine Newton, Dan Stevens, Juan Carlos Esposito, and so many more kick-ass people. And oh my god, this movie is over-the-top crazy, alright? You're getting blood, you're getting action, you're getting gore, you're getting comedy, you're getting everything you want it and more in a fucking badass movie. All right, this movie is about a group of people who come together and kidnap a little girl. They bring her to her mansion while they're waiting to get a ransom from her rich father. But then slowly, their crew starts getting ripped limb by limb, decapitated, murdered, just maimed, and the house... They can't escape because it goes in a lockdown mode and there's no way to get out. And they find out they're in a real cat and mouse game where the little girl they think that they've kidnapped is really the one who lured them into this mansion where she is a vampire and hunting them down before she feeds off of them. Oh my god, this movie's badass. Okay, it's done by Radio Silence. If you don't know who they are, they did the last two Scream movies. They did Ready or Not. And this movie kind of harkens back to Ready or Not. We're getting people exploding in blood, kind of like in, in Ready or Not. But in this, it's even better. And the unique ways that people are just brutally attacked is fucking crazy and intense. And... <laughs> Fuck, dude, it's chilling because they make you question so many different things. You don't know if anybody working in this crew is who they say they are or if they're really working with this girl or who's going to turn their back on who. It's so intense and it's under two hours, I think, which is a nice little bow on top of an already great movie. And it just feels gritty and dark and twisted and oh my god it's so good horror is killing it in the box office and this movie is continuing that legacy my god i want more of this story i don't want to spoil how it ends but i don't see the ending coming when i sit down there may be twists and turns and fuck this movie is worth seeing on the big screen with a giant crowd just so you can feel the guttural reactions of people around you and just feel like you're watching something unique and just oh my goodness check out abigail in theaters right now and check out my movie review podcast movie toast news and reviews available wherever you get your podcasts thank you and please stay toasty